Hi everyone and welcome to 3D Survey Tutorials. Today we'll show you how to import images from drones such as DJI Phantom, Inspire 1, EB or any other that have geotagging capabilities. They don't support telemetry, however they will have their images geotagged which means EXIF data is saved within the properties of a particular image. We'll go and we'll open our 3D survey We'll go to Images, Load Images, and to see that geotagging properties within a particular image, you simply click the image with your right button, go to Properties, go to Properties within the Properties, and scroll all the way down, and you've got your GPS section written down here. So that means we've got all the EXIF data we need. We'll just OK that. We'll go back to our image folder, we'll select all, open, and we're back to our telemetry importer here. So in our case today, we'll select EXIF data, such as Inspire1, EB, or whatever you're using. We'll select that, and we'll click import. We get all the images to our right pane of the screen, which means everything's fine. You can check that all the images have been uploaded properly and we go straight to our bundle adjustment. So we've got a few parameters here, same as with telemetry the other day. We'll leave global on, we'll select our flight height, which in our case today is 80 meters. We'll leave guided feature matching off, leave it to normal, click OK, check your camera properties, in this case, everything's fine. We're pleased with our settings. We'll just go continue and leave our 3D survey running. We'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, we're finished with bundle adjustment. This is our auto orientation summary here. You can go and check that everything's fine. We've got a few differences here in GPS that's expected. We're dealing with 1.5 meter accuracy with our GPS. So all these total numbers down here are totally expected. We're pleased with our results. We'll just click OK. Now, we could use additional coordinates from ground control points and upload a text file and improve our orientation. But today, we don't need that. So we'll skip that step and we'll go straight to reconstruction. So we'll click that. We come back to our properties here for a few parameters. We'll leave our reconstruction level. We'll just put it to high. We'll leave the minimum overlap to three. We'll leave this checkbox checked and just OK it. And now the software will patch the images together and reconstruct the whole model. We'll see you in a few minutes. OK, we're finished with reconstruction. So this is our result, a dense point cloud with all the images and all the realistic colors. So we need these, need these points to generate our surface models and our orthophotos. But before we do that, we have to go and classify our point cloud. So let's click classification. And we get to our first step with a few parameters. These work, as we mentioned before, for 99% of your situations. We'll just OK that and click Next. Our 3D survey is getting ready for our step one, where, as usual, we'll select all the big terrain patches and get rid of all the buildings and other obstructions. All right, this is it. First step's ready. So let's go and find our terrain points and click on some of the big regions of the terrain. So this is it. You get all the terrain in one go. Just OK that. Go next. And this is where we get to the second step. Now the program will classify all the points. This is it. Just finish it if you're satisfied with your result. And now we get back to our main screen where we double check all the points and click delete other to finally get rid of all the obstructions. Press escape on your keyboard to unselect your model. Go to DSM, calculate new, 
and check your parameters once again. This works for us just fine and we'll just go and click calculate. Okay, that was quick. This is our model, nice and smooth. You can rotate it around, make sure that everything looks fine and upon being satisfied with your result, we'll go and select DOF, which is digital author photo. We'll go calculate new, check our parameters. If you're okay with that desired resolution, just leave it as it is and click calculate. And now all the images get processed and we'll be left with our perfect author photo. Let's give the software a few minutes and we'll see you then. All right, our author photo is generated. You can zoom in, rotate it around, make sure all the lines have been patched up together properly. And when you're satisfied with your result, you can simply go on and play with your 3D survey, apply changes, manipulate data, measure everything in 3D or 2D, whatever you want to do. Check our other tutorials to see how that's done. But for now, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.